Hello crafty friends, this is Monica with I'll Make It Crafts and today I have another guest design project for Kinda Cute by Patricia. On today's card I am using this adorable image called Decorating Tree and this is this cute little boy decorating the Christmas tree. So I am going to be using my Spectrum Nar alcohol markers here to color it and um, I did speed up this video but uh, you'll be able to see exactly what the process is and how I am coloring it. Now, because I didn't want to accidentally color any of those little ornaments, I went ahead and created myself a little barrier by going around each one of them, and it makes it a lot easier to go and color the rest of the uh, of the tree without messing with it. So I am just, you know, fixing it in there, um, and I'm going to be using different colors. I do have them right there, or the tops right there at the top, so you guys can see the colors that I use. I am using the tip to tip technique here to add a little bit of a darker color because I didn't want it to be too dark at the beginning so I usually start with the lightest and then move on to darker because if you do it the other way around sometimes it's a little bit harder unless you know exactly the shade or the color that you're going to be using. So um, also I wanted to apologize really quick because there is a couple of sections here where my camera was kind of going out of focus. Um, I guess it's just because it was a little busy trying to do different things and it decided to go out of focus it was getting confused but uh, but you can still see what I am doing or the process of what uh, you know how I am coloring it either way so like I mentioned I am just adding here a little bit of the darker color to each one of the images um, and yeah I did speed up the process so that way you guys can see it because um, I am a slow slow at coloring and I want to make sure that I take my time so I wanted to spare you from being here too long uh, though I do appreciate you visiting me today and coming to see the project that I've created. Now remember that I always have a lot of uh, more still photos on my blog, so you can definitely come and visit me there. I would love to have you there. Leave me a comment there as well, and that way you can see it. And if you have not signed up for um, to receive any of my blog posts, you can definitely do it. And every time that I post something there, you'll be able to get an email with the blog post so you can read it and check the information. Um, I have mentioned before that I can't always do videos or I don't always have the time to do the videos. So it is a lot easier for you to see the projects if you want to read about it or how I created them. So what I'm doing here, once I finish coloring those little ornaments, uh, I am adding a little bit of a gold uh, jelly roll pen to, to color that little star and I added a little bit of the sparkle dust to create a little bit of shine. So now we're going to be coloring the little boy and here I am using these two tan colors to create, uh, you know, to color his little face and then we're going to be coloring his hair as well. So I'm using some of the same uh, tan colors, TN3 and I believe that was TN4, just kind of going from the lighter to the darker as usual and then just find a coloring it in. I think this one was TN8 or 6, but I will have a list of the colors on my blog if you're really interested in using the same colors that I did. Um, but yeah, just go ahead and pick whatever colors. If you don't have this type of uh, or this kind of markers, just kind of look through your markers and see the shades that you have. Pick three, two or three different shades if you want to do a little bit of um, shading or you know create a little bit of dimension. And you know the ones that are a little bit closer to each other. Um, so here I am coloring his little pajamas and I decided to use this kind of blue mintish color and using a lighter and a darker color. Reminds me a lot of a little pair of pajamas that my son used to have when he was a baby and when he actually kind of started wanting to walk which was super adorable. So that's why I color them that way. And now I'm just, you know, coloring here the rest of the tree, um, tree the tree trunk and the little area where the little pot where the tree is in using same my, some of my tan colors as well and creating a little bit of dimension here to the pot or make it, uh, you know, do create that effect of the roundness of the pot by adding darker to the edges and then keeping it lighter in the center. Um, I apologize if it is a little bit uh, distracting of all the little uh, scribbles that I have on my piece of paper but I usually put a piece of paper so that way it can you know sip any of the extra color that I add um, because you don't want it pulling back in and you know just kind of spreading through your image if it has a porous area um, the color would kind of sip it sip down or you know spread better I'm, I'm not sure if that makes sense but I am using it as my little scrap of paper so I can taste test the colors um, as I you know I'm trying to put them there to see what they will look like or you know how they'll look 
I usually have a scrap, uh, a little scrap piece of paper on the side, but because I had that area there, I said, you know, why not? Let's just go ahead and test it here. So now I'm just coloring those little ornaments with different uh, reds and blues, and I think it already looks super cute. And I'm just trying to decide what I'm going to be doing on the background. I do like creating some scenes there sometimes. And um, well, first it's just kind of ground the image so that way you can see that you have a floor and a wall. So I used that gray color and then um, I, because I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do, I decided to grab a pencil to just kind of sketch some lines in and then decide what I was doing. Uh, at first I thought I was going to make the whole area like a big glass area or glass uh, wall, but I decided to just kind of go back and erase it and make it just kind of like a window, like a window there. So I just went back with my gray marker and then just color in the areas, come back with my eraser to um, erase some of those pencil lines because I had started coloring it with the marker. Some of them you can already see, but it doesn't matter because I am making them a little bit darker and you do want to see that definition of the little panels. I don't know what those are called. So I decided to go ahead and make my walls gray. So I'm using a little bit of a darker gray here to just kind of color all around, color the little boy and the whole wall and then that's done then on the bottom i still wasn't sure if i was going to leave that uh, trimming um, to be all gray or, if, or what i was going to do to differentiate it or kind of create a difference but i left it like that for now and i'm coming back to add more color i did use this um, ice blue color to add a little bit of a i don't know like an effect to make it look like it was glass when you put it down um, at first it does you can see it a little bit more but once the color dry you can't really tell much unless you're like looking at it really close or at least I don't think the camera picked it up much I did decide to come back and add some little curtains to my window and I am using this kind of pinks and reds to add it because the paper that I was going to be using to um, you know for the final of my card had some little uh, like pink and reddish flowers so I wanted to kind of match or bring in that color into my image as well so I'm using the lighter one with there and then you can see I finished my color in my curtains they're not that great but you know it just kind of creates that effect now I'm going back and coloring on the floor and the floor I did decide to make it or look like it was a hardwood floor so I'm using some brown colors to make it uh, or yellow brownish to make it look like a light shade of wood and I'm just creating the little panels to go around and just coming back adding a little bit more of detail. I did decide to go and add little like squiggles to make it look like it has the wood grain. And um, I don't know, the camera can't pick it up too, too much, but you, you'll still be able to see it on the still photo. So make sure that you check my blog for that. And um, yeah, like I said here, you can kind of see it, but it's all good. So now just going back, adding a little bit of details to the um, tree to add a little bit of shading underneath that bunny in the box to make it look, uh, you know, some of the shading there. Coming back with my jelly roll pen to add a little bit of shiny details to the ornaments. And that's pretty much all I did to my image. Now we're going to be putting the card together. So here I have my image, my card base, and then the panel that I, um, I was going to be using. Um, you'll see here in a second what I meant. So those little flowers that kind of look white here because of the, I guess the lightning, um, they're actually a little bit pinkish and that's what I was trying to bring in onto those curtains. I am also using that Merry Christmas that's already printed onto the paper as part of my sentiment and I am going to be centering that image there. I think it just looks so super cute. Um, I did decide to pop the image with some foam tape so that way it can add a little bit of interest. Um, to the image and then just kind of pop it up, you know, any chance that I get to add foam tape or pop images or, you know, create interactive elements, I absolutely love it. So the easiest here, and I think I've mentioned it before, but if you didn't know, when you are putting foam tape around run, round shapes, um, it helps a lot if you remove the, the, the tape or the backing on each side because the tape is going to be more manageable so you're able to kind of go around. And I added tons of tape into the center so that way it can hold up my image. I'm centering it and that's pretty much my card. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'm just going to add here a couple of more details to that little garland with a gold pen. And that's pretty much all. I did decide to create a second card using this same image and combining it with the Papa Bear image that I used last week. And you can see here this adorable card that I made.
So I made a shaker for this one. And then um, I added some of the little like, balls in there and glitter and I did draw with a pencil some little branches so make it look like it's you know the snowy outside but that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed it I did come back and added that tis the season um, sentiment there so I hope that you guys enjoyed this project um, go ahead and make sure that you visit Patricia's store and visit my blog for more still photos and hope everybody has a wonderful day catch you in the next one